Hello everyone, I'm back today with a very interesting video. Today I'm going to tell you about some Danish or Scandinavian titles that I really personally liked and that have been translated into English so that you get to read them as well if you want to. I have to start out with mentioning one of the most famous Danish authors of all time, I believe. And that is, of course, Hans Christian Andersen, who has written all the fairy tales. He is brilliant. He was brilliant. He doesn't exist anymore, but he is still very much celebrated here in Denmark. He wrote, among other things, The Little Mermaid, and that's all I can remember right now. I know all the Danish titles, but I must admit I don't know the English translations, but you can get all of his fairy tales in English. And please do so, because they are absolutely amazing. Next, I have a book written by a Swedish author. I, I'm pretty sure he's Swedish, and that is A Man Called Over by Frederick Bagman. This is a book about a man who has grown old, who is called Over. He is very, very grumpy and very pessimistic. He doesn't like people at all. He wants to be left alone. And he is just such a pessimistic main character. But that's what I loved about this book. It made me laugh so much because he was just fantastic. He reminded me a little bit of myself. Whenever I have a bad day, I feel like him. This book is hilarious and alone for that main character, I would definitely recommend that you read it. Next is Havoc by Tom Christensen. Now, I'm saying Havoc, but that's because that's the title I could find on the internet when I looked for the English translation, but Herwerk in Danish actually means vandalism, so I don't know why they translated it into Havoc. Anyway, this book was published in 1960, I believe. It is a very famous book here in Denmark. I loved it because it is very brutal. It is about a main character who reviews books. He also has an alcohol problem, so during this story we follow him and we follow his thoughts and also the way his life turns very very bad and gruesome. It is so fantastic, it is so honest and so brutal as I said and I highly highly recommend it. We also have another famous trilogy which I'm pretty sure most of you already know of and that is the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo trilogy by Stieg Larsson. I believe Stieg Larsson is Swedish as well. This trilogy is amazing. This is the first book, but I obviously own all three of them. I read them about four or five years ago, and even though I don't like crime stories that much, this has become one of my favorite crime trilogies. However, if you don't like reading very brutal scenes, then maybe you shouldn't read this series because it is very brutal, but that's what I liked about it. Especially the ending of the second book left an impression on me and I still remember that very vividly. Next we have another famous story and that is Out of Africa by Karen Blixen. Karen Blixen is a very, very talented author and this book has also been turned into a movie starring Meryl Streep. I must admit, I don't remember if I've actually read the book, but I have watched the movie several times and I loved this story. This is amazing. It takes place in Africa. It's about a Danish woman who moves to a farm in Africa and then she meets a man and the story takes off from there. Even though I'm not sure if I've read the book or not, I definitely recommend the story. Then I have a series of six books, which is quite a journey to go on, but believe me, it is so worth it. And that is My Struggle by Kat Ove Knopskog, who is Norwegian, if I'm not mistaken. This series is an autobiography. Karl Ove Knausko has written about his own life. He's not that famous. He has become famous now after having published this series, but before that he wasn't famous. So when I picked it up back in the days, I was a bit hesitant because why would I read a series about a man I didn't know of? However, I'm so happy I did. This is brilliant. There is something about his writing style and his way of describing his life and his family that is magic. He can be quite brutal to his family members when describing them and he also became famous for that because he is not candid. He likes to just tell things as they are. That's one of the things I like about this book. I also like the fact that that 
we hear about how it is to be a rider and how it is to go on these riding conferences and learn about riding. I like that because even though I'm not a rider, I still felt like I learned a lot from these descriptions and I definitely recommend that you at least check out the first two books because those were some of my favorites in the series. I still have to read the sixth book, but look at the size of it. So I'm, I'm kind of gathering my courage to actually pick it up. Next, we have another well-known book and that is The Hundred Year Old who crawled out the window and disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. He is Swedish and this book is perfection. It is so hilarious. It deals with a man who is 100 years old, as the title says, and one day he decides to crawl out the window and disappear. He wants to go on a journey and he goes on quite a journey. I was recommended this book through my father who told me that he laughed his ass off when reading this book. And then I picked it up myself and even though I didn't exactly laugh off my ass, I still really enjoyed it. It is quite entertaining and it's like nothing I've read about before, so definitely check out this title. Next I have another crime story and that is The Keeper of Lost Causes by Juicy Adler Olsen. This one is about a police officer. He investigates a case in which a woman disappeared five years earlier and she has never been found, but this police officer thinks that she still exists and that bad things are happening to her. I read this some years ago and I was a bit scared. It wasn't one of my favorite crime stories, but it still very much impressed me. It left an impact on me because I was quite scared while reading it. So if you like reading crime stories that scare you, then maybe this is the one for you. I have two more titles to go. The next one is You Disappear by Christian Youngerson, which I read quite recently. This is about a man who suddenly realizes that he suffers from a brain tumor and this specific brain tumor changes his personality. However, the point of view is not his, the point of view is from his wife, Mia. And that's quite interesting about this story, I think, because we get to see how this brain tumor actually affects his family. It also comes with some pictures in between the pages, the chapters, and it's all just very much accomplished and it left an impact on me because I've never read anything like this before, exclusively because of this particular point of view. And I thought I had one more book to go, but actually I don't. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I maybe inspired you to look up some of these titles. There's like fluff flying around. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading everyone. Bye bye.